Manchester United revive their interest in Leon starlet Ryan Cherky. With many players halfway out the door at Old Trafford already this summer, new manager Eric Ten Hag may be looking to add some young talent to Manchester United's ranks as the club have reportedly renewed their interest in Leon winger Ryan Cherky. However according to Foot One, Cherky is yet to respond to the club's latest contract renewal offer, with his current deal set to run out next summer. Should his contract situation not be resolved soon, Leon may be forced to sell the 18-year-old for a reduced fee or fear him leaving the club on a free next summer. British outlet Mirror also reported on the possibility of United going back in for the French U21 international, stating that Leon's club president has already confirmed interest from the Red Devils. The two clubs that were interested when we won his faith were Real Madrid and Manchester United. We want him to succeed with Leon. The French winger has appeared 49 times for Leon, although his minutes have been limited due to him suffering a serious leg injury near the end of the 2020-21 campaign Manchester United along with a host of many European clubs were reportedly interested in the young Frenchman after he broke into Lyon's first team back in 2020. Manchester United goalkeeper Dean Henderson agrees personal terms with Newcastle United. Manchester United goalkeeper Dean Henderson has agreed personal terms with Newcastle United, according to a report. The 25-year-old headed into the season with a good chance of being first choice, but spent most of the campaign on the bench due to the form of positional peer David De Gea, as well as testing positive for COVID-19 in pre-season. 90 minutes have said that talks between the Red Devils and Newcastle are well underway regarding the player, and that the club are long-term admirers of his, especially after their failed move for him in January. They report that talks are still ongoing but it is currently unclear whether or not it will be a loan or a permanent deal. However, the Magpies have agreed personal terms with the Englishman. It is said although it is not known how highly United value him, if Newcastle do try and sign Henderson on a permanent deal then they will attempt to negotiate a fee of around £20 million, to secure his long-term services. His contract will expire in the year 2025. Manchester United join race with Chelsea to sign Juventus star Adrian Rabiot. Adrian Rabiot could be heading to England following interest from multiple Premier League sides. As per Calcio Mercato, Chelsea have shown interest in Juventus midfielder Rabiot, and a new development is that it is thought that Manchester United has joined the race. The 27-year-old has had a consistent year for a disappointing Juventus season, appearing 45 times in all competitions. Rabiot is a serial winner, with five League One trophies from his time at Paris Saint-Germain and many major other cups, including 2020 Supercoppa Italiana with the Old Lady. The Frenchman has spent time in the city before, with a stint at Manchester City's academy in 2008. United are looking to strengthen the centre of midfield after departures of Nemanja Matic and Paul Pogba this week. With the likes of Fred and Scott McTominay unlikely to push the side into the top four, new manager Eric Ten Hag is looking outside the club for starting midfielders. A name Ten Hag's team are heavily interested in this summer is Barcelona ace Frankie de Jong. It is reported that the Catalan club are wanting to sell players to help with the dire financial situation, and a high-profile sale such as the former Ajax captain would certainly help that end. Ajax defender Jurian Timber having doubts about joining Manchester United. Ajax defender and Dutch international Jurian Timber is reportedly having doubts about joining Manchester United this summer despite being a top target for Eric Ten Hag claims a new report. United have been in talks to sign Timber for a number of weeks with Ten Hag pushing for United to sign one of his priority targets. The Red Devils have been linked to both Timber and Pau Torres this summer with some reports suggesting that United could sign both defenders in the window. Timber was said to be happy and keen to move to United however, new reports have suggested that the versatile defender is now having doubts about the move. A report had emerged in the last few days suggesting that Timber wanted to ensure he would get as much first-team football as possible ahead of this winter's FIFA World Cup. A new report from Simon Mullock of the Sunday Mirror has stated, Jurian Timber is having doubts over leaving Ajax to join United in a £35 million deal with the World Cup approaching. This comes as reports from the Netherlands had suggested that Timber could stay at Ajax to ensure maximum game time ahead of his first World Cup. Manchester United join race to sign Christian Eriksen on a free transfer. Manchester United have joined the race to sign Christian Eriksen, according to a report, with Eric Ten Hag a fan of the player. The Dane spent the second half of last season at Brentford, 
where he played 11 Premier League games, scoring one and assisting four in the process. Now that he is a free agent, the Mirror say that the Red Devils are interested in signing him on a free and the 30-year-old is keen to return to the Denmark squad for the World Cup in Qatar later this year. Manager Ten Hag got to see the midfielder train with his Ajax side to build up his fitness before he joined the Bees, following his cardiac arrest in the Euros last summer, and was allegedly impressed with his desire and commitment. Brentford want to keep the player, according to the report, but his former club Spurs as well as Everton are also in the race, with Antonio Conte's side able to offer Champions League football. With United already said to be in the race for Frankie de Jong, it seems the Dutch manager could be on the lookout for two midfield signings this transfer window. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much. Goodbye and see you by tomorrow news.